Hi guys, welcome to this new video of FSI panel. This will show you iFly 737, which is now supported by the software. So here we have uh, the PMDG 777 right now, so we need to change the aircraft. So we go on the setup, aircraft, and we will choose to fly the iFly 737. Select the aircraft, that's it. Now, as always, the airport. So here we're gonna do a little scenario we will have an engine failure out of Kennedy Airport. Runway, let's take pick the first one for left, that is good for us. And we want to do a pattern, so uh, this is our traffic pattern. So we are ready for that. Now weather, let's take the actual weather in New York, see how it looks like. Okay, snowing today in New York, nice. Let's take some snow here, this is good. Wind and snow all set so we're gonna send this weather and we need to add as well a little failure so we want to have an engine to fail during the takeoff roll so we will make it at 130 knots enter engine fail at 130 that's what we want execute all right and now we are ready to move the aircraft and go to the flight sim Okay, here we go. So uh, I will show you now in slow motion what FSI panel is doing with uh, iFly 737. So you switch on now the flight director for the captain, the auto throttle, the flight director for the first officer. Then the runway course, the speed, heading, the circuit altitude is set for you. And as you can see, the auto brake is not set yet, so that will be done in a few seconds. We have a fuel warning gone, and now it's going to set the MCDU for the FMS for you. So let's see what happens. Now the auto brake has been set by FSI panel and now in slow motion again I will show you now what's happening. So origin it will set New York. It's the same destination as we decided to do a traffic pattern. So that's the destination and then it will insert our uh, route. So let's put it here on the uh, plan page so we can have a better view on what's happening. Sorry, our right, plan page. So you can see now is doing our nice traffic pattern. And back now the last point to the runway. Now we need to initialize the performance. So this is what it will do now. Alright, so zero fuel weight will be entered here. Then the reserve Right now, by default, it's one ton. So FSI panel will set one tons for you. And then the cost index doesn't really matter when we do a short fly exercise. So we'll set 60 here by FSI panel. Then the next thing will be your cruising altitude, 4000, which is what has been defined as well on the program. Next, we need to go on a takeoff page. So now it's looking at your flap setting. We have flaps 5 on this scenario. So we'll set flaps 5 here for you on the FMC and then the CG will be confirmed and finally we get the speed here V1 V rotate and V2 which are confirmed by the software as well and that's it now if a side panel has prepared your airplane everything is set for you to fly this traffic pattern he set as well the altitude here which is the altitude at which you need to be to intercept the glide slope. So then you can even fly in VNAV and you will be exactly at the right position at the right place to intercept your glide slope on the ILS 04 left. Everything is set now, we are ready to fly. So now we will see in uh, real time at full speed how FSI panel is setting the same aircraft at the same place. All right, now let's see. It starts with the flight director. Auto throttle, mode control panel is set, auto brake is armed. Now let's see the MCDU. The routing is inserting now, is getting all the points. The performance, takeoff, speeds, and the VNAV. Everything is set and you're ready to fly. So it basically takes only a few seconds and you're fully ready to fly your iFly 737. Your aircraft is configured for takeoff, flight director is armed, you're ready to go. You just have to advance the power and go for this flight. So, 
everything is set as you can see now for uh, our little scenario we will do a single engine departure with a engine fail at 130 knots so I switch off the flight director off as we want to do raw data flight alright let's go takeoff thrust is set Eighty knots. E one. Engine fail. Continue. Rotate. Positive rate gear up. All right. Now the speed we want to fly is one four zero knots. This is the V two speed. So we need to concentrate on one four zero. And fight for the runway heading. The next step for us will be reaching 1000 feet as there is no obstacle straight ahead here so we'll go 1000 feet and we'll start to accelerate to clean up the aircraft. So right now our speed is V2. This is what we want. We want the runway heading and V2. Alright, now we're approaching 1000 feet so we can start to accelerate. So we pitch down slowly the airplane and always trim correctly your rudder to keep the aircraft nicely on track. And now we want to go to the one bug for the flaps, then we will be able to retract our flaps to one. So we go slowly, we make sure we are not going down, we should not sink so we have to keep a positive rate of climb so we just drop a little bit the nose to uh, eight nine degrees even a little bit less as long as you're climbing it's fine and we are coming now to the bug one so when we have one with positive trend then we will go to flaps one and we keep our correct heading very important to be in the right place. Alright, coming to bug one, we go flaps one. Now we continue, we keep the same pitch which is nice and we see up coming. So when we reach up, we'll be able to retract the flaps to zero to up. Just now. Now we need to pitch up, we want to climb with up speed which is the best climb rate, climbing with the uh, flaps up configuration. So we pitch up 10 degrees, that's about it, and we keep everything coordinate and we climb on the runway heading 045. And now we will set our MCP, our flight director on. Level change, 200 knots, this is what we want. Heading cell, 045, straight ahead. And now we will be able to use the autopilot if we want to, so we can do our checklist work. and command. So we have command now and one heading cell on the speed. One thing we need to check as well is the climb now. We are in climb, we should not be in climb, so we need to set continuous thrust, set, and now we are climbing to what 4000 feet. 1000 feet to go. And once we are safe at 4000 feet we will do or checklist. Alright, at acquired at 4000, I take the speed to 10 so we can have a full bank turn. And now as the aircraft will reduce the power, we need to be careful with our rudder trim. Because we were giving a lot of rudder to the left, and now as you see we need to correct to the right to keep the aircraft coordinate. Alright, now we are 210, 4000 feet, autopilot, aircraft trim, so we'll be able to go back to FSI panel to move the aircraft on uh, vectors for the next approach, to get ready for the approach. Alright, back to FSI panel, now we want to save time, so we go on vectors, and here you can see that the uh, 
Victor's leg is only two miles, so we need to do some work. So we're gonna extend a little bit this one to six mile, so to give us more time, and we're gonna move the aircraft. Now there's a difference, as you can see here. We have move aircraft and slew aircraft. The difference is slew aircraft. You will slew your aircraft to the desired position in the actual state. So we we will still have the engine failed. We will have our FMS as before while move aircraft will move the aircraft fully functional alright so now we go back to flying oops the heading was set to 045 when we went in the software so we just have to correct that to the intercept angle which is 30 degrees so 075 for the inbound track 045 and we need to go down to intercept or glide slope vertical speed so here I didn't show you I did all the checklist and the procedures for single engine operation so everything has been set as I don't want to do a uh, too long video uh, I just ignore this part on my on this video but everything has been set we go for flaps 1.5 for landing and we have shut down the engine the engine number 2 is secure so going down now We see the glide slope is coming nicely, we are on a 30 degrees intercept, the approach is armed, we have localizer and glide slope armed. Glide slope coming, you can reduce a little bit the rate of descent. So we can as well get rid of the speed, we have to reduce our speed, as we know it will be only 6 miles final, this is what we've decided. Alright, speed is coming good, so we will continue our speed reduction sortie. We are on the glide slope now, so it looks fine. Okay, localizer captured, glide slope captured, we set the inbound track 045 and the goal altitude for this approach 3000 feet. Alright, let's continue to slow down, gear down, and we put our flaps 1.5 for landing. Oops, this is the horn because the flaps, the gear down, the gear sorry was not down and the flaps, final flap setting was selected. Flaps 1.5 and the ref is set. Alright, now the auto thrust, sorry, I'm flying manually, so I will have to add thrust here, 145 to maintain my VRF. So you have as well now to trim your aircraft correctly for the power setting to make sure the flight is coordinated. So this is the tricky part on the approach because the autopilot is now fighting to uh, keep the glide slope and the localizer and you have to find the right setting for this approach. Take a little while and then your aircraft will be nicely configured. go we are approaching 1000 feet we are stabilized in limit speed brake arm landing gear down flaps 15 set auto brake to 3 go on altitude is set so we continue this approach we say we know that the visibility was 500 meters so approaching 500 meters sorry approaching 500 feet we should see something let's see what happens monitoring or localizer, glide slope, speed. If the speed goes a little bit high, it's not a big issue. It's better uh, to keep let the speed go up rather than making big corrections and losing the uh, lateral track. So now coming down to 500 feet. Still have no ground contact. 500. 500. No. We have ground contact, runway in sight, 400. Alright, let's fly manually, autopilot off, 
So when you retard your power here, you will have a yaw movement, so you have to compensate whenever you retard. Huh? Minimums. Alright, minimums. Push a little bit by the wind from the right. 100. Light slow. Coming down, we are 50. coming over the threshold at 50. 40. And now we retard. 30. 20. And we need to push a little bit the rudder to maintain the center line for landing. Reverse. 100 knots. Out of reverse and we will stop here. So this is a demonstration of uh, iFly 737 with FSI panel. So now it's fully supported. You can select any approach you like as before with a PMDG and your aircraft would be configured nav setting done and you'll be ready to fly within 20 seconds. On my next video of iFly you will see a very short one, it's about 3 or 4 minutes how to set up a Fly 737 for a quick approach in Zurich. It's very straightforward, it's exactly the same as uh, for PMDG, there is no difference at all. The difference is uh, how FSI panel is interfacing with uh, iFly, PM, uh, iFly 737, sorry, as uh, is setting as well the overhead panel correctly when you load the airplane. Thank you for watching and uh, if you have any comments please feel free to leave me any comment here or on the website. Thank you.